This we'll defend are the words that encapsulate the ideals of the United States Army. It was first used by the War Office of the Continental Congress during the American Revolutionary War in 1778. And it has been our guiding motto for over 200 years. Today, it is inscribed on a scroll above the Cap of Freedom on the Department of the Army emblem to signify the Army's constant readiness to defend and preserve the United States of America. It is our shield. This we'll defend means we are there when we are needed, regardless of the mission. We are trusted Army professionals who are there when our country calls upon us. Our shared love of country is a powerful motivation for our service to the nation. We are the faces of freedom, life, and liberty. We serve not to promote war, but to preserve peace. This we'll defend is a statement of our commitment in our oath to defend the Constitution of the United States and its citizens. The first line of that oath being, I do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this oath. This is why we serve. As Army professionals, we fulfill distinctive roles as honorable servants of the nation as competent military experts, and as committed stewards of our profession. And by taking our solemn oath, we voluntarily incur an extraordinary moral obligation inherent in our identity as trusted Army professionals. This obligation is inspired and motivated by the Army ethic. The Army ethic defines the moral principles that guide us in the conduct of our missions, performance of duty, and all aspects of our lives. The Army ethic is the heart of our shared professional identity, our sense of who we are, and why and how we serve the American people. This is why we live the Army ethic. The Army is a noble calling, a trusted profession. Our ethic is reflected in law, Army values, oaths, creeds, ethos, I'm an airborne trooper, a paratrooper, and shared beliefs embedded within Army culture. It is the means by which we establish trust with the American people, and it is a large part of why we serve. As soldiers, Army civilians, and families, we are committed to do our duty to contribute to the common defense. We share a love of country and of our Army family. We defend American values, and we serve not to promote war, but to preserve peace honorable service to our nation. And I think that goes to the heart of the reason why people serve. Most people want to be part of an organization that has great ethics. You have the ability to be part of something that allows you to really look at the flag and realize that all the past is tied up in that flag that represents our nation. 9-11 happened and I wanted to do something. Uh, I wanted to, you know, play my part. I didn't want to let time go by and look back and say, I wish I had. I thought I was just gonna you know, get in, go to school, serve my country, and the structure is actually what, the, what kept me. Just the tradition and knowing that you go in and you have a purpose. 
As a former drill sergeant, watching the soldiers walk across that parade field with their heads held high, chest out, and that they know they accomplished something and know that I had an impact on their life. I'm proud of what I do. It feels good to be a soldier. You feel like you're, you're fighting for everyone's justice. An Army professional is somebody who's gonna go out and be the example that the U.S. people expect us to be. And I think that is an important trust that's been given to us by the American people. And in order to, to justify that trust, to enable that trust to continue, we have to serve with honor. You know, you take an oath, it's a solemn oath, it means something that we're, we're actually going to support and defend an ideal called the Constitution and we're going to uh, provide for the common defense of our country and our people and our way of life. I do this because I raised my right hand, I volunteered, I took an oath. Over the years though, especially with the two conflicts that we've been recently engaged in, it hit home. When you're out there, I've learned how strong that oath is and what it represents. Why we serve directly affects how we serve. We serve ethically, with character. We take pride in honorably serving the nation with integrity and demonstrating character in all aspects of our lives. There's not many people that put on this uniform every day. You know, so for me to be able to put this on and come to work and be able to provide for my family and serve my country at the same time, I mean, to me, it's an honor. Accountability is a big piece of the Army ethic. I have to comply with standards, regulations, and policies. I have to be a role model and I have to live by the Army values. If somebody is, is not doing the right things and not living by those values, you're just wearing a uniform and anybody can wear a uniform. It's to back up the uniform through your actions that matter. Honor is the outgrowth of character. And if you're serving with honor, you're serving with good character. We serve effectively with teamwork and competence. We do our duty with discipline and to standards, putting the needs of others above our own, accomplishing the mission as a team. You have to know um, what your job is. You have to be um, technically and tactically proficient in your job. You have to know what it is to, to be a soldier. As somebody who's disciplined, puts others above himself, has that selfless service quality. Being competent is understanding that you have technical expertise that you develop as a result of your time and service. And so you gotta be able to be the best soldier that you can be. If you're an infantryman, have an expert infantryman's badge. If, if you're airborne, be a jump master. Always strive for that, for that higher level. You are the squad leader. Your team counts on you to be the best squad leader that you can be because their lives depend on it. So you have to be competent at the individual level, but you also have to be competent at a team level and then build that into the platoon, the company, and the battalion, and the brigade. The camaraderie, the team building, it's like a tight-knit family, and that was something that I wanted to be part of, something a little bit bigger than myself. We serve efficiently with stewardship and commitment. We uphold the standards of the profession. We lead by example, and we hold ourselves and others accountable for decisions and actions. I joined this Army to be a part of a team. I aspire to be the best I can be, and that is ethically, personally, and professionally. Taking pride in what you do and setting standards for yourself and setting standards for others and letting them know that there's an expectation that we are in a profession that is unique and different. We're soldiers. This is a special group that make this commitment um, to live ethically, to be expert in our profession, and then to have great care in the stewardship of our profession. Whether it's dollars or it's time or a soldier's lives, we have to shepherd those resources and, and best apply them against the challenges or missions that we've been given. And as a steward of the profession, you are inspiring others to serve a cause greater than themselves. And you're also exemplifying the personal and moral courage that it takes uh, to do the right thing uh, in the most arduous conditions that you might find yourself in. By defending the values that frame the nation, preserving the peace, and fulfilling our moral obligation to execute the legal and ethical orders of civilian authority, we reinforce trust with the American people. 
Every day we're making decisions, and a lot of them are hard decisions. And if we have a framework, an ethical framework, for making those decisions, we'll make better decisions for the American people. The values get you to a certain point. Same with the warrior ethos. But the combination of those two is really the ethic. You know, the foundation of why we have a set of shared values and an ethos that we all aspire to be. And so that's why this ethic is so important. I think how we serve is critical for us to continue to be a professional and honorable individuals when others look at us and when we look at each other. And that applies whether you're in uniform or an Army civilian. It shapes the profession, it defines who we are, but more importantly, it reinforces with those external to the Army that we are indeed professionals that you can trust. Now that trust is something that is earned each and every day. It's earned by the performance of our soldiers. It's earned by the leadership that our leaders of character deliver. And it's a uh, factor that is absolutely essential for us to continue to be the profession that we are today. The essential characteristics of our Army profession, honorable service, military expertise, esprit de corps, stewardship, all built on the foundation of trust, reinforce our identity and provide the critical foundation for the Army. Soldiers, Army civilians, and families, we stand strong by living and upholding the Army ethic in conduct of the mission, performance of duty, and in all aspects of life. This is America's Army, our profession, meeting the needs of the nation for more than 239 years, built on shared values, established standards, and mutual trust. This is living the Army ethic, living our shared professional identity as trusted Army professionals.